Alright guys, it is Mr Lowell here and I am here to do a leg plyometric -y style workout for you today. Um, it's going to be quite a lot of work down here so we need to make sure we warm up properly and stretch off as well. So I'm going to start off just a little jog on the spot. For every exercise we do, we're not going to time it, you're just going to do a set amount which I'll say before you start your workout and some dynamic stretches. Try and keep your back straight for these to reach forward. You should feel the stretch in the back of your leg. A couple more on each leg. And then slowly we're just going to lunge out. Again, this is part of a warm up to make sure every muscle in the legs are warm and ready to go. We're going to rotate the ankle round. There will be a lot of work on our ankle joints, so we need to make sure these are warm and loose. And your other one. Both ways. Be able to open the gate. Get your hip joints going as well. And close the gate. Okay, we're rotating the hip area as well. I'm going to push to the left, push forward, push to the right, push down. I'm going to reach down into the middle, make your legs a little bit wider, reach over to the left and hold it. Over to the right hand side. So that's a static stretch because we're still we're going to turn it into a dynamic stretch. We're coming down and up, down and up. Okay, if you feel like you need to do more stretches yourself, feel free um, just whilst I'm explaining what exercise we're going to do. So I've got a stepper here, but you could use a um, bottom step of your stairs, if you had a bench in the house or a a small wall, anything that's safe, that's not going to move around too much um, and wouldn't hurt if you fell on it, so pick something sensible for this workout. We're going to be using this in between every exercise we do. So on these we're going to be doing some calf raises. The reason you need a bench is we want our heels to go lower than the floor. So if we did a calf raise here it would be okay, but heels would obviously stop at the floor. So we want to go a little bit lower if possible. So in between each exercise, we are going to do a variation of calf raises. It might be two feet, it might be one foot if you have the balance and the strength, left foot, right foot. Um, but the main activities are going to be done on an area about two by two meters. So you don't need loads and loads of room, but we are going to be jumping as well. So make sure there's nothing above your head. So we're going to start off uh, with our plyometrics. Get the legs going. We'll start off with some squats, uh, standing squats to start off with, and then we'll progress them to jumping squats. Now, when you do your squats, you want to make sure um, it's one of the best exercises you can do. It's a whole body exercise. You want to make sure your knees and your feet are facing forward, so make sure they're facing me. Um, we don't want knees coming out in that direction, and it's up to you how low you go. You don't really want to go lower than 90 degrees. So imagine there's a seat behind you, um, and that you're just going to sit on that seat. So we're going to start off with 10 squats, and we're going to 10 calf raises. So we'll start off with 10 squats. One, two, three, four, five. You can have your hands here if you prefer. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going into our calf raises. So we're going to go both feet together, 10 calf raises. One, two. Three, four, five, six, use your arms for balance, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to start the jumping part to this plyometrics. So we'll start with your left foot on the floor. All I want you to do is hop up in the air, land on two feet. So from the side it looks like this, up and land. Then we'll swap onto our other foot, jump up, 
and land two footed. So we're just going to alternate both. We'll do 10 on each leg. So left foot, one, right foot, two, three, step into it, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, straight onto your step. And again, 10 calf raises. We're going to do a pistol squat, which is a one-legged squat. This puts a lot of pressure on your legs. So if you can't do it with one leg, um, you can always pop something under your bum just to protect you. So if you had a seat and put a pillow on it, so if you can, we're going one leg out, you're just gonna dip down, and back up, stay on that leg, that's one. Two, you decide how low you go. Three, you don't wanna go lower than 90 degrees, so imagine your bum is sitting on the chair. Four. Five, bad balance. Six. Seven. Eight, you don't need to do 10 if it's hurting too much. You can stop at anything from five. Set. And squat leg. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Straighten to your calf raises. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Start to feel that in the legs. Feel free to stretch. Shake it out whenever you need to. So we're going to do some jumps now, move out of the way so you've got a bit more room. We're just going to jump straight up to start off with. So this is two feet to two feet. So it's very stable, taking off on two, jumping as high as you can, landing on two and then going again. So we'll do ten jumps and then go back to car phrases. One, two, three, four, five. step. This point, if you want to do one foot calf raises, you can. If not, stick with your two feet. What we can do, if you have balance, one, two, three, four, five, the leg, one, two, three, four, Five. Every time your ankle is moving and trying to balance you, you're building your strength in your ligaments and your joints. So it's, don't worry about it. It's a little bit wobbly. It's good. We're going to increase the speed a little bit. If you are on your stairs, just be careful of this one. I've got quite a big step here. You might not have that much room. But we're going to go up, down, up, down. And I'm going to count down slowly from 10 seconds. Um, so just be careful, don't want anyone slipping over on this one. Ready? Go! Halfway there. your calf raises. If you're struggling to balance, you can use a wall. So because I'm going one foot in, I'm just going to hold on to the wall. Allows you to go a little bit higher without falling over. Two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, this time, I'm going to use the step in the middle. So if you're using the stairs, you might be best getting something else on the floor in the middle of you. If you don't have anything, you can just use the ground and jump onto the ground if you like. We're going to go 15 of these. So we're going to go jumping up, jumping down, a little bit faster than that, but just for technique. So up, down, up, down, both feet at the centre. Ready? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Twenty calf raises. You should start feeling it by now. And the calves. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So again, using a box in the middle, we're going to go up and down, up and down. Trying to use the arms as well. And um, if you prefer for rhythm, if you prefer to just balance a foot and leave it hovering over top, I don't mind. If you want to come all the way down, you can do whatever you prefer. So again, I count down slowly. Last about thirty seconds. Here we go. Keep lifting those knees up, don't get lazy. Ten seconds left. Really push off with your foot on the outside. Five, four, three. Two, one, calf raises. Again, you could be doing these one footed or two footed. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Definitely feeling it now in the legs. Get rid of the step for this one. We're going to go back to doing squats, two footed squats. But this time we're going to jump when we get to the top. So, real explosive movement. Again, check, you're not going to knock into anything. So, side on, it looks like this. We're going into a squat, jumping up, and then landing. I'll do the front hand. So, 10. Here we go. One. If you get rhythm, go straight into it. Three, four, otherwise you can have a pause. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Half raises. Okay, the next one, we need a bit more room. And if you've got, if you're doing this with someone, this now becomes a bit of a competition. If not, you just need a marker, a pen, your phone, anything to put on the floor. So you have your start point, which will be the same every time. And you're gonna stand by your start point, and you're gonna hop out and you don't want to go 100% on your first hop. So you're going to hop out maybe 60% of your maximum and pop your marker down. You've then got to hop back to where you started. Your partner, if you have one, or you, if you don't, will then hop out maybe 70% of your maximum. Pick up a cone and put it down and again hop back. So each time, you're trying to hop a little bit further. You don't want to go 100% on your first one. Just kind of eke it out so you're having five, six hops. So a quick demonstration. I'm going to start on my left foot, hop out, didn't push too hard there, pop my little cone down and hop back, 
same leg, it has to be the same leg. I'm not going to go a little bit further. Move my marker. Pop back. Same leg again. Make sure you've got enough space. A bit further. That wasn't a very good one. Got to make it back. Same leg, now you're getting up to near maximum. Balance. Don't let those hands touch the floor. And you've got to get back. Just. This will probably be my last one, this will be quite far. Same leg. Got to make it back. Then you can return, retrieve your marker. We're going to do the same thing on your other leg. No break in between. Keep it going. Get the heart rate up. A little bit further this time. If you're doing this with a partner, you're obviously alternating. Try not to touch the floor if you can. Keep going with your partner or on your own until you think you've got to a point where you can't do much more. into calf raises. There's one more exercise and one more set of calf raises after this before we cool down. I've lost count. We've won about six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If in doubt, always do an extra one. So same jumping game, this time you're going two footed, so get your start point, about 50%, turn around, make it back, a bit further. Over the last one, as well as jumping far out, try and get some height on it. So really explode up, use your arms. Don't get any further that time. Last set of calf raises. Seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So if you've done that right, you should feel a bit of an ache in the legs. That's what we want. The muscles have worked hard, so obviously we need to make sure we give them lots of oxygen and can recover well. So after this, keep drinking lots, try and eat well as well. Um, but we are going to stretch to start off with. So start off, get the blood going to them. A little jog on the spot. Might feel a little bit heavy. Okay, we'll do that dynamic stretch again, where we swoop through the middle and back out. Down, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. We'll mix dynamic 
and static. So hold this, you can feel it here. Warming here. And just before you finish, lean forwards and just give it an extra stretch before you put your leg down. Make sure you hold your ankle, don't hold your foot. A lot of people hold their toe like that. Get a good hold of your ankle. Try and keep your knees together or next to each other. Again, before you finish, extra little stretcher. Find a wall or something you can lean against. You're gonna stretch your back leg by bending that front leg and keeping the back leg straight. So push into the wall. Okay, final one, we're going to make sure our hamstrings have, uh, and glutes have done a lot of work there, so we're going to make sure we're stretching correctly. One leg in the air, you're just going to pull back on your calf there, that should get your hamstring. Some people extend it by looking to pull down on your toe, but that will get a different stretch, so just focus on the one we're trying to do here. And change leg. And to get your glutes, you're then going to lower that leg across the knee. It's like this from the front, this from the side. And push it away from your body. So it's my left leg has come across and it's going to the right hand side. Push it across your body. You can twist as well, but we're looking at getting the stretching your glutes. And change leg, same principle. Right leg is going to the left shoulder, pull across. Oh, if you do feel achy in the morning, feel free to repeat just for warm up and the cool down section. And I know you guys will already know a lot of stretches you can do anyway, so make sure if there's a part of your body that's aching, you give it a good warm up and a good stretch. See you next time.